Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. And today's problem is after consulting genome databases, you find that the human hexakinase amino acid sequence begins with and here is a sequence. But the protein made from your plasmid begins with a different sequence. A mutation must have occurred. Below write the DNA sequence of the non-template strand for the beginning of the actual unmutated hexakinase gene. Don't forget 5 and 3 ends. And if you feel that you can solve this problem, uh, I recommend you to stop video here and uh, when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So uh, before uh, we will write uh, the core sequence, let me remind you what is the template and non-template strand of the DNA and uh, imagine that this is uh, DNA and uh, here we have message RNA and of course message RNA and so this end of message RNA always would be 5 prime end and here we would have 3 prime end this is everything you have to know in order to assign other ends uh, for the DNA strands so here we would have uh, 3 prime end on the DNA strand and here we would have 5 prime end on the other DNA strand we would have 3 prime end here and 5 prime end here so as you see uh, this uh, DNA strand would have the same uh, prime ends as a message RNA and this strand would be template strand and this would be non-template also we call this coding strand of the DNA and this one non-coding strand of the DNA and whatever uh, nucleotides we can find on the message RNA and the same sequence we would be able to find on the coding strand of the DNA we also call this non-template strand of the DNA for example our first uh, protein would be mesianin so we have to look our uh, table of bases here and here it is so on the message RNA we would have sequence A, U and G and on the non-template strand of the DNA we would have a sequence that is going to be the same A but instead of uracil we would have thymine here so A, T and G and on the uh, template strand of the DNA we would have um, adenine wood base pair with thymine uracil wood base pairs with adenine and guanine wood base pairs with cytosine and now we can solve uh, this problem so uh, first uh, protein would be uh, or uh, amino acid would be mesianine and its sequence A U G but this is sequence of the message RNA and we have to give uh, an answer we have to write DNA sequence of the non-template strand of the DNA so this should be this uh, strand of the DNA the sequence as you see should be the same but uracil would be substituted with thymine so if we have uh, mesianine on the message RNA that is A U G so actually uh, our sequence on the non-template strand of the DNA would be A T and G so this is would be the first one Second would be tryptophan and only one um, sequence code for the tryptophan this is UGG so our sequence would be TGG and next uh, we have here um, lysine and here is a sequence for lysine on our table of codons 
And as you see, this time we cannot be sure which uh, sequence to choose. We have two sequences, so let me list two sequences here. So this can be A, 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 or it can be also A, A, and G. Next uh, amino acid, once again, tryptophan, and only one sequence stands for the tryptophan, and this is uh, T, G, G. Uh, once again, tryptophan, T, G, G, and the last one, mesianine, that is A, T, and G. Once again, let us return to the problem. We told but the protein made from your plasmid begins with the mesianine, tryptophan, so mesianine, tryptophan, uh, mesianine, and as you see here, we have a mutation, third position, uh, mutated, so the rest also the same, tryptophan here, tryptophan here, mesianine here. So the third position changed from lysine to mesianine. So uh, that means from these two sequences that we list here to mesianine, that is sequence here. So let me list it here, A, T. And G. Once again, below write uh, the DNA sequence of the non template strand for the beginning of the actual unmutated hexakinase gene. So, uh, which one uh, of these two uh, sequences uh, were originally present in this strand of the DNA? And uh, how we solve this problem? It's very easy. Just take a look uh, how these two sequences are different from this one. For example, if we want to mutate this sequence into this sequence, we have to change two letters. So we have to put A here and A here. But if you take a look at this sequence, as you see, the only difference is this letter. So if we would change T to A, we are going to get sequence AAG. And that means that uh, this sequence were original because uh, it's, of course, much easier uh, to get one mutation at one uh, trinucleotide than simultaneously two mutations in the same nucleotide. So the original sequence is here. So this is sequence here then here and here and as for the 5 and uh, 3 prime end uh, 5 prime end would be here and 3 prime end would be here because all the uh, trinucleotides in this codon table are given uh, in the direction of 5 prime end to 3 prime end. And as you see, our uh, strand of the uh, non -co uh, coding strand of the DNA, non-template strand of the DNA also goes from 5 prime uh, direction to 3 prime direction. And our first nucleotide was ATG and this uh, code for the mesianine. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.